Be a man, they said. Women can't be touched even with a flower. You have to be a knight. Don't look at them. Keep off your eyes. It's rude. It's maniacal. You're not a beast. It doesn't matter if they tease. It doesn't matter if they provoke. Your desire counts for nothing. If you show it, you're a pervert. They are allowed to tempt you, even just for fun. Be stylish, with red, funny, never gloomy, they don't like it. Wear a jacket and tie, no, better casual. That shirt that emphasizes your pecs, no, she may think you just want to bed her. Be a man, they said. Go to the gym and carve your abs. But women like belly, at least they always say so. And size doesn't matter, just be able to use it. Better have it huge, otherwise you can't satisfy them. You're too short, women like tall men. Hairless and four-eyed are dorky, but balls have more testosterone. And glasses make you intellectual. Be someone, be a leader, be a winner. Be a man, they said. Crying is for pansies. True men are tough. They must have scars because they're sexy. They must have a cool car and own a big, beautiful house. You must succeed. You must have a job and make money a lot. Gorgeous, smart women don't like poor things. So work, work, work and maybe die while working. And be protective, you must protect her, your house, your kids, your properties, your country, and maybe die while doing it. Be a man, they said, don't spend too much time at work, be helpful at home and with the kids. You must be a good father, love can be both with the money you make. But don't be too warm, she could report you for abusing. Don't criticize, don't discuss, she could accuse you of domestic violence. If she leaves you or cheat, swallow and shut up. Don't search for reconciliation. Don't try to talk with your kids, she could report you for stalking. Just leave home, support her and be quiet, because mom is mom, so provide for money. In case, sleep in a car or in the streets. And don't complain if another man sleeps in your bed and hugs your kids. If you don't like it, you can always suicide. Be a man, they said. When you're out together, don't let her drink. She could report you for harassment. Don't look at her, don't touch her, don't hit on her. You'll make her feel a bitch. Just make her feel desired. But don't try to kiss her, even if she looks longing. She could feel forced. Don't have sex with her, even if she's in. She could change her mind anytime, and then you'll become a rapist. If she gets pregnant, she owns the baby, and she could abandon him at the hospital without any consequence. Don't ask her to have an abortion. She owns her body, and when the baby is born, DNA and law say you must support him. Don't ask her to keep him, uterus is hers. She has the right to unload her burden, even if you swear you want him, even if you swear you'll support him. You must be a womanizer, cool girls don't like losers, but if you fucked around you're a despicable sleazebag. Be different from the others, why aren't you like the others? Be a man, they said. Don't speak loud, you're violent. Don't speak softly, you're insecure. Keep in your sorrow. Expressing sadness is not masculine. Bear the body pain, bear the inner pain, be a soldier, be a warrior, make her feel safe. You must be father, brother, lover, everything. You must be nothing, because she must be everything. Be a man, they said. Women and children first. You're expendable, since always, because you're the strongest. You're the hunter, the predator, the patriarch. You can't feel bad, you can't give up. You're the atlas, and you can't be anything else, or you will be pulled out of the game. If it's needed to make her float, you just have to sink. Be a man, they said. And so, it's time to get over these bullshits. Stereotypes that pull us apart, and make few rich and famous, while we gave up each other talking, looking, touching, relating. It's time to stand in the way of parasites who get money and power feeding our discords and conflicts. They want us far and strangers to mind better their own business. Let's fuck up the ideologist who scarves down our hearts and soul. Let's start again being man and woman together.